Okay, we just got our eggs uh, from the post office. They called us, said that the hatching eggs were there, we could go get them. And we got them in the box, looks really, really good. So you have a receipt here from Meyer Hatchery in Polk, Iowa. Polk, Ohio. And this tells you what breed based on the stamp and helpful hints for hatching. It's packaged really well, we hope. Some cut out styrofoam pieces, giving it another layer. Here we go. really good so we bought 24 eggs and they threw in one extra some places give a little more extra eggs but anyway we bought 24 and they threw in one more so we're happy with that and so one of the first things you want to do is candle the eggs look for any cracks uh, maybe even a hairline crack from shipping and also check the air cells to see if they have maybe detached or if they're looking kind of fragile if they look like saddles you're going to inspect the air cell. This is an Olivager. I don't see any cracks and all the air cells look good to me. I think Meyer Hatchery did an excellent job packaging and shipping. So there's only one thing that I'm wondering about, and that is, let's see, this egg. Which end is the pointy end? The air cell is up there. As this being the round end. However, when you candle it, you can see that the air cell is clearly on this end. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve different breeds. We've let them sit out now. They're at room temperature. It's about 9 15 at night. So tomorrow we'll consider it day one. We've put all the eggs in. As you can see, we have three extra eggs that we're going to turn by hand. Hopefully, because there will likely be some infertile ones. We'll take three out and then they will all turn themselves. Day three, you can see it really good. Day three on the speckled Sussex, you can see you've got a nice little growth right there, a little red spot. This is an Easter egg here. You can see clearly it's got life this is day four. This is day five. You can see the black dot, which is the eye. It's day 14. We're going to take our Meyer hatchery hatching eggs and we're going to candle them, see if there's any quitters. So far, I think we have 25 viable hatching eggs, so not one has quit which is pretty impressive for eggs that came in the mail. This is day 14, one of our white eggs. You can just see quite a bit. So we've marked the 14 day air cell with orange and the seven day was purple. They all look good, including our three that we've put kind of on top of the others and we manually turn. We didn't think we'd have them all lasting until day 14, but here they all are. It's day 18 and we have our Meyer hatchery eggs so far. All 25 have developed, but today we're going to do the last candling and then we're going to put them on lockdown. All 25 eggs are going into lockdown. It looks a little crowded, but I think it will be fine. 
Our first pip is from the Partridge Plymouth Rock. At 8.30, we have our second little pipper. This is a white Plymouth Rock. We have our third pip. We have our fourth little pipper from an Easter Egger. Just notice this little pip with his beak hanging out. White Plymouth Rock, it's starting to zip. Really close. There's the pip. I didn't check. Oh, this one's so oh. This guy pipped all the way over there. I didn't see him. First little hatcher, a white Plymouth rock. Hey, buddy. This light Brahma is going to be our second chick. This light Brahma, second chick born. Look at all his colors. Oh, he's so cute. There, little buddy, light Brahma. Number two to hatch. This Easter Egger on number five is working at it. Here is our Easter Egger, the third one to hatch. Just chilling. Looks like he's got brown and black and yellow. This one might be getting ready to zip. He is our Easter Egger from egg number two. Third to hatch. Hey buddy. Hi. Partridge Plymouth Rock. First to zip, fourth to hatch. This is number six, a second white Plymouth rock. I'm gonna go back to bed. Six thirty, we have an incubator fall. Hey guys, you look like you just hatched. Babies are getting moved over to the box.
Easter egg here. Oh wow, big push. He's, yeah. he's like all dark. He's gonna be red. Seven little chicks at 7.30 in the morning. Partridge Koken, coming out. Oh, this one's getting closer. Look at there. Oh, oh yeah. there it is. Five eggs left. Some good pips on four of them. One we don't know about. Lots of colors. Hey guys, how's it going? You're really colorful. So we have 21 in the brooder, and we have two little guys drying off. One guy who may, may or may not have. What's the easiest way to get it off? You want to take the ride? Okay. Okay. Hey. This is what fresh air feels like. You want to go? You ready? Are you ready? Oh, this big old hand. Oh, oh, this big old hand. Let's go. This one pipped. I've opened it up because I was trying to see if he was alive or not. He definitely pipped a little hole earlier, but I think he was maybe too far down. And I wonder if he didn't drown. Well, he hadn't absorbed the yolk yet. So these are, these are the 24 out of 25 Meyer hatchery egg chicks that hatched. And these are about five days old now. And they're all very healthy and happy. We feel like we would give Meyer Hatchery, their hatching eggs, a really, really, really high score. Um, almost perfect, really. They were all fertilized. They all made it to where they pipped and only one didn't fully hatch out. So you can't ask for a uh, better rate, really. 96% hatch rate. And everything was good from the very beginning, from the shipping to the eggs to the very end. And the chicks look adorable, and they're very happy and healthy.
This is the light Brahma chick. One of the first to hatch. This is the white Kokin. Feathers on his feet. This is a light brown leghorn. These are three black Australorps. These are our Easter eggers and one olive egger chick. This is the Partridge Plymouth Rock. Little speckled Sussex. This is a little Buff Ormpeton chick.